What is he doing? Are we ready to go? Yeah, we're going to that room room thing. Yeah, but first we need to go up and enjoy the view again. So we are going that way. No. Around. Up I'll there. Go up. No, we are not going up here. We are going up there. Okay, I'll go up there then. Yeah, I'm out of it. You can use some mopeds. Some more? Mopeds. mopeds. You can sit on a moped. Sit, sit on a moped. Sit on a moped. moped. What's a moped? A Vespa. Where? Sometimes it feels like moving is uh, space traveling. Like it wouldn't be any different than moving from Australia to Austria and just going simply to different planet because it's so different oh my so different actually the word alien is a nice word because it expresses also a human feeling to be alien somewhere hmm? I'm alienated by this place but Anna and I were saying the nice thing is it's the same experience in some ways which is an awe-inspiring moment and uh, that's so inspiring beautiful, beautiful. It's inspiring. like it, I remember going to the 12 Apostles or visiting Wilson's Promontory and uh, having the same feeling you are here and you are just Marveling about what you see. Yeah, let me out right there. You go to your second favorite. Dude, no, wait, Samuel's going. Look, he only has 34. Ah, the Vespa moves backwards. Ah. So, until we explore further the Vespas, let's explore this idea. Life is a journey full of peaks and valleys. Just like this mountain hike, it's not always an easy path. But it's during those peak experiences that we find the true essence of life. I recently moved to a country with mountains I never hiked or seen before. What? And every time it's a super exciting, super awesome experience. And I'm thinking a breathtakingly beautiful sight. It feels alien to me, but awe inspiring. At the peak we realize the power of pushing ourselves beyond our limits. It's in these moments of triumph that we understand our potential and connect with something greater than ourselves. Being here is the result not only of a long hike, but of a long journey through life that lead me here. And now I'm on my way back down on this interesting machine and um, I think life oftentimes feels like this. We descended on this summer topogan with full speed ahead, a new experience. We will be and we will feel a bit different from this moment on because we made a totally new experience. Another core memory is made. The turns and tunnels will stay with us for a while until we are fully back in our daily routines. That's what happens when you're back in the valley. Yes, it's in the valleys that we learn to appreciate those special moments. Our daily lives may not always be extraordinary, but they provide the context for us to recognize and cherish those moments of greatness. And so the cycle continues, we climb, we reach new heights, we go to new places, we take risks and when we return to the valleys, ever changing, ever growing, we are different. Life is a journey and this journey is about embracing the peaks and valleys, cherishing every moment and finding beauty in both the extraordinary and the ordinary. I hope you enjoyed this ride as much as I did.
Thank you.